Petri Rinni han har jobbat med ett spännande projekt, ett lydeprojekt i Finland i en liten by mellan Åbo och Tammerfors och detta ska du få berätta om. Welcome mostly here. Tack så mycket. And uh, sorry for my language. I only migrated here this morning so I didn't catch up too much of Swedish language. But um, I want to also introduce my home country at a small nation east from you uh, that often beats you in ice hockey if you don't know where, where Finland is. And uh, sorry, for, sorry for this uh, start, but I just had to do it. <coughs> uh, I'm going to present to you a small uh, case, Punkalaidun, southwest of Finland, if you know cities of Åbo and the city of uh, Tammerfors. So this would be pretty much in the middle of this big uh, rural territory in southwest uh, part of the country. And uh, what is so special in, in Punkalaidun, why I'm presenting this as a social innovation here, Basically, there is uh, nothing special in Bunkalaidun. It's very, very typical agrarian, small uh, rural municipality, uh, far away from, from everything, from big cities. And uh, it has 3,000 in inhabitants and a uh, lot of uh, farms, a lot of um, cows, a lot of pigs. But what they are doing differently is that they have open borders, like we heard here uh, earlier. It's so important for us in Scandinavia when we are so few people here to have open borders, to access uh, new ideas, to access new people and uh, let them uh, come uh, to our territory. So uh, Bungalaidun municipality started investing in uh, refugees and migrants already in 1990s. So this is not a success story. It's very famous uh, case in Finland. Not, not so many rural municipalities are, are doing this. So they started doing this already in 1990s. It didn't happen uh, overnight. And uh, they opened a, a refugee center. Uh, Red, Red Cross was uh, hosting that uh, refugee center already in 1990s. And uh, then uh, slowly uh, we started supporting this uh, activity through our leader, leader group. I don't know if you are familiar with uh, leader uh, groups. It's part of the European Union uh, Rural Development Policy. We are about uh, 2,500 leader local action groups across the EU. I think in Sweden you have something like 60-something, uh, and uh, in Finland we have 54 uh, during the current uh, programming period. And I am the manager of that uh, leader company in our uh, territory, where also Bungalaudun municipality is, is one part. And we saw that uh, there is a tendency of refugees to come to this center, but once they get the uh, permission to stay, once they get their asylum, they tend to move to big uh, cities, to Helsingfors or Obu or, or Tammerfors. So we needed to do something active to integrate them to the society, to uh, give them access to uh, training institutions or give them access to a uh, labor market. And um, uh, with a uh, little help of, of leader projects, we started with uh, local farmers, farmers union, and uh, finding seasonal uh, labor for these people who otherwise would be very passively waiting for their asylum, maybe two, three years process uh, in that uh, center of, of several hundred uh, people. And we noticed that uh, people from Balkan, for example, that came in uh, 1990s, that they were so eager to do something, so eager to show their skills, that uh, the biggest problem in this first project we had that, that when they went to some local wood processing company, they did the job uh, twice as short in time than the average uh, Finnish working force, because they didn't want to have so much coffee breaks or so long lunch, lunch breaks or fika and all this uh, stuff that, that we are so aware of here in Scandinavia. And now I think that this is also a key for our economic uh, recovery, because you know that Finland is deep down in the economic recession still. But when we are keeping our uh, borders open, we are welcoming the uh, migrants uh, who, like we know from the history of, of the whole world, we know what happened in the United States and, and elsewhere, who were very open societies to newcomers. They want to make their future, they want to work hard. And also we think that uh, they take those jobs that Finnish ordinary workforce wouldn't like to do anymore. And this is our leap in, uh, in our economy too. But of course we are uh, offering them a nice uh, rural life in our uh, municipality. We offer them um, something similar that in their home countries we have started investing more in quota refugees, people from Myanmar who are uh, picked up from uh, camps in, in Thailand, for example, we can study already their background, that they come from rural territory. It's a very different thing to integrate somebody from Baghdad compared to somebody from, from rural Myanmar. 
rural Myanmar, they want to stay uh, in our territory, not go to uh, Helsinki. They find rural jobs in Bunkalairun, in local farms, and, and so on. Uh, the most recent experience we have had with a uh, migrant integration coordinator, um, Mrs. Marit Tiittanen, who has been really a um, big uh, gold uh, uh, medal winning uh, wor work force and um, resource for us. And she has been lecturing not only in Finland, but also uh, abroad about her model, how to be effective integration coordinator and explain from the very start when people come from refugee camp, what is a, a bed, what is a chair, what is a electricity, you know, starting from simple things and then taking these steps to labor market and training institutions. And the end result of all this series of leader projects is that all the 100 people who are now in Bunkalaidun, they are either in, in jobs or in training institutions. And if you think about that ratio, that the community of 3,000 Finnish people can um, welcome 100 uh, migrants, is, is that, do you think it's, it's enough? Is that big or is it too small? I compared that to uh, European Union population and also Finnish population and if we could do the integration in that same ratio, we could double the amount of uh, migrants to EU and also to Finland. And that's something to bear in mind and, and think about. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>